Hello my friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I'm happy that you clicked in here today. We are here for my completed pages for the month of April. I had a pretty good coloring month. I've been doing pretty well. In general, I don't really keep track until um, to tally stuff up till the end of the month. So I'm always surprised because I didn't think I was really coloring that much, but I did 83 pages. So just wanted to show you I am still using my um, completed pages journal. And so, yeah, I started here on page 247 for the year and ended up at... So I've, com or I've colored 329 pages so far since January. So that's pretty darn exciting. I'm just going to go over some of the stats um, first, and then I'm going to dive into my empties, and then we will get into the pages. So fast forward as appropriate. I did not do as much of my 10 books to finish in April, as I have been, um, yellow was the marker I grabbed to mark those. I did 26 in the month of April, which is still nothing to sneeze at. But um, based on the fact I have 255 left to do by the end of the year, I needed to do 29 pages a month. But I'm not worried. I will easily... Um, get back on track the I didn't color anything in my mini pusheen so those are so quick and easy because it's tiny that if I sit down and just color on that this month will be good uh just a review for April I did the Wahoo with Kathy thank you to everyone that participated it just really lifted my spirits which needed some lifting so a thank you for sharing your cats artsy tacos hair and yummy pages with me i had a blast i did hit all three of my coloropoly um prompts and yeah pretty good i already went over my um May. It's the month of May. Plan. So I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, if you want, if you missed that video, I will add it up in the eye in the sky. Otherwise, just go look at my um, playlists. It was probably the last video I posted. Um, new books. I did get quite a few because some friends spoiled me for my birthday. Thank you. I will show them in a haul. I did color out of one of my 10 books to touch, which was Sacred Angels by Lydia Hess. So that was another one off. So we've got two down, eight more to go. And I did color in 11 uncolored books, which made me happy. Other than that, what do we got here? Um, I did a total of 83 pages out of 25 different books, and I did eight PDF pages. This was where I'm off. Usually I'm pretty even, or I go more non-color by number, but this was a color by number month. It was kind of a stressful one, which hence the reason I did 58 color by number pages and 25 non-color by number. So if you do not like color by number pages, you may as well click out now. Um, that's a lot of what I'm going to show you, but I have some pretty good uh, non-color by numbers to share too. And wait till you see the markers and pens that I used up. I did, oh, I didn't write it down, 23 buddy colors to write that down and I got 15 new books so that summary and what else did I get done here so in April um I only got five videos posted on YouTube sorry about that again it's life my subscriber count at the end of April was 1298. It started at 1249. Again, it's not a big deal for me on numbers. I just track it. Mostly I'm tracking like my posts and it just seems logical, but I'm not hung up on numbers as far as subscribers and followers, which we will notice when we get over to Instagram. I had 840 at the beginning of April and now I'm at 819. 
And a big part of that is because I went in and blocked and removed people, not actual coloring people that I could tell their Instagram is coloring related. But again, I think I alluded to the skeevy guys. And yeah, it's like, I don't know what they think when they're trying to slide into my DMs. Here's a little screenshot of one where I had three wanting to talk to me. And yeah, I'm sorry. Those, I just get tired of it and I just go through and remove block, whatever. Again, because I don't care about the numbers. And I forgot to write down my posts. Okay, maybe I should have done more prep before my uh, diving in here. But, okay, so that is the statistics as an oversight. Let's look at my empties. Okay, so I didn't show you, but seriously, my little bin here was completely... Full. Again, I am so impressed with the amount of markers I used up. Last month, I didn't really go through these, and I had a couple people say, I like to see the actual ones you use up. So I'm going to show you this time. I'm not going to like name every color, but I will show you. So I have a total of 48. All markers, no gel pens, that were used up. So I had two Crayola Super Tips, three Crayola Take Notes, then these are just four kind of random. One's a Sharpie, two are Pen and Gear, which is the Walmart version of Sharpie. And this is Pembroke, which is again a um, Sharpie style, I'm just going to say, permanent marker. So those are kind of randos. And then I have these two, which I have been trying to use for like white accents. One is this, it's supposed to be like a chalk. Actually, both of them are supposed to be like a chalk marker in white and they probably have a use in this world but unfortunately it is not as um what I want because they are definitely not opaque and they just kind of make a mess so I'm just going to get rid of them even though they're not completely dried up but they're not working for me I don't want them anymore and I keep trying to make them work and they won't so that's depressing I have it looks like eight kind of various alcohol markers here um, a sketch marker, a um, one of my sprees. These were all um, like the first alcohol marker set I bought uh, when I started doing my YouTube. And the I'm down to the grays and a couple more, but I got four of those used up. And then these are a set, it was a set of six alcohol markers, and I got them at um, five below. They're definitely not worth even the $5. I'm just letting you guys know. I mean, maybe, but you'll see I did a page. Granted, it was a large page, but I couldn't even get them to um, finish a whole page. They were running dry. So the two lightest ones are gone. And then I have several Bics, um, Bic Intensities, two of the highlighters, which actually worked really well. They're a chisel tip though, so they're a little bit different. But, and again, this is like my first set of Bic Intensity since I started doing YouTube, so happy to use them up. And then the big Mama Jama is 20 of my Tao Trees. A little sad to see these go, but I have two sets in the wings. So they did a very good job. I love them. And now I'm just trying to use up that whole set before I dive in. I've got like three alcohol marker sets. I'm trying to just mitch, miss and match, miss and match, or to just get them completely used up is my goal. Um, I have some other sets, new sets, but I just want to like, okay, I know now what I like. And Tau Trees definitely, as far as the skinny marker, I very much like these compared to the other ones I've tried and will repurchase. These um, are great just more for the smaller spaces. I don't use them um, if I need to color large areas because I, you know, there's not that much ink in them. I mean, it's fairly decent, but you know what I mean. They're small, they're skinny. So that is the 48 markers I used up. Then let's start into the pages. Okay. Hopefully this is, oh, don't mind. This is like my nail polish is over here I'm trying to get a better um, angle so you can see the page. Don't mind me while I move you around a little bit. I got the basket with all the books right in front here, basically to try and block the kitties. So we'll see how I do. So these are PDFs. 
I had printed out. I don't believe Kira Shershneva has her uh, books on her website anymore. She used to have not all of them, but several of them available as free PDFs, and I had downloaded those. Um, so I had some printed out. This is from the Color by Colors Tetris. And I did this page. I had printed it out like quite a while ago, and I finally decided to color it. And can I tell you, uh, it wasn't until it was done, and even then, I wasn't sure what I was looking at. So, <laughs> this is, um, now you can probably see it, it's dolphins jumping. But, yeah, I had no clue. I'm like, is this like a volcano? And I kind of like when I'm coloring, like, these mystery ones that I can't tell what it is. And with Color by Colors, I knew what the colors were, but I could not tell what it was. So, that was pretty fun. This is one of the um, Sun Life Drawing. If you did not know, I know other people have mentioned it too. They have where you can sign up and join the review team. And what they do is they send you a PDF of a new book they're about to release about a week before it is published on Amazon. And they give you the opportunity to print out, test some pages, and if you find any mistakes, to let them know, and then you can give a review as soon as the book is published, which is actually pretty genius on their part, because the day it's published, they're actually getting reviews with photos, so they don't have to wait for a leg for people to buy them. Um, I have uploaded, paid, or uploaded pictures to all of my reviews on their their books um and i try and do it the the day it releases so anyway that's pretty fun so this is color by number it is by the sea mosaics and i didn't get this printed out in color sorry about that but here i just wanted to show you this is what the page looks like so these are a lot smaller more detailed um color by number this is not your easy coloring it is I, when I say that, it is still, I, I didn't have any difficulty. It was very easy to read the numbers. They're all orientated the same direction. And um, there are, you know, sections where it's a lot of the same color. So let me show you. Here is what the uncolored page looks like. And then here's the colored page. So you can see there's still, you know, larger areas where you'll have a all the color but in this one there was a lot of like every other so like even the water had like three different colors and the clouds are all every other pink but isn't it just beautiful I think it comes out so beautiful um yeah super happy I colored all of this and I added a little bit of white gel pen but yeah this book is amazing I'm not a big water person so a whole book about water things isn't necessarily my jam but this almost would make it as you would imagine there are a lot of blues between the by the sea water part and the sky I did switch up my markers just so you know the um blues for the sky and the water are the same numbers I just had enough blue markers and again mine were starting to die so I purposefully switched it out and used more the greener toned blues down in the water and regular blues up top. So if you have done this page and you're like, mine didn't look like that, that would be why. So that's the first one. And then I have another one that I printed out just to show you again, uncolored what it looks like. And then here it is colored. So kind of, you know, not everything what I liked, I didn't print out the whole book to show you, just the ones I colored. But you think by the sea, it's going to be, I don't know, a bunch of fish, a bunch of um, birds. There are some birds, but there's several with people. There's like somebody on a surfboard and a sea dew. Is that what they're called? Um, so yeah, there were some interesting and I just think they did a beautiful job with the colors. It's just so vibrant. And then I did another I just I think I did three out of here and this is the other page I did same thing just alcohol markers and I added a little bit of white gel pen accent so that is my parrot page I needed a parrot for a prompt so 
that's what went on there. Then they have this new one, and this is one of the ones they have kind of re-released that was a Kira Shershneva book. It is called Stained Glass Mandala, and from what I can tell, it is two of her color-by-color -color mandala books in one. I believe it is the Tender Mandalas and then the Stained Glass Mandalas. Um, so it's a pretty nice-sized book. And um, here is just to kind of show you the standard... Sun Life um, color palette and two of the examples. If you have either of these books, you probably recognize them. And I did mine a little bit different in how I printed it. So the size of the book is your, is it eight by eight or, you know, it's not your eight and a half by 11. And um, so I wanted you to see what it was because when I printed mine out to color, I printed it to fit two on a page because I just wanted to, you know, do a bunch of these and to review them. We can bring it out a little bit. So you can see, it was a little tricky, I will admit, when I, because they were shrunk down to read the numbers, so I don't recommend that. But if you are just using this one, so you can see the size I printed versus the size of the actual page, not any problem, but I would have to reference this when I was coloring it. Um... So I think I did eight mandalas. I only counted this as one page when you're looking at my page number or, you know, completed pages. The, even though there's two on here, I just counted it as one because I really did make them small. So I did these two. And again, the these books were on my wish list anyway. And um, to have them in a color by number format, super thrilled, super thrilled. And two in one even better, but it's using the colors of Akira, which she is a master of doing beautiful colors. And I was just trying to pick out some random ones that showed the color variation and then some that were more monochromatic, just to give a um, good feel for what was out there. So those are all of the PDF pages I did in April. I think I'm going to just be like reaching out of the basket, so hopefully it won't be too distracting. Um, sometimes I pile them up and then work my way down, but let's just see how this works. It's kind of a little bit different setup than normal. So this is a sticker by number. This is one of my bonus books to finish this year because it only has 12 pages. And this month I did, which one did I do? Not that one. Here. I did the swan, and I always like to show you what it's supposed to look like, which is on the left, and this is the back side of the sticker sheet. I've shown this before, because they don't always fit perfectly, and that's partly my own issue. You can see, like, down here on the bottom, definitely have some gaposis, but... Even when I use a tweezer and like I'm trying to be so precise, they just, I think it's just the way the um, machines cut these. They're not exact. I'm just saying that to myself to, you know, make myself feel better, I think. But I did the swan. I thought that, I don't know if it's a she or a he, but very beautiful. And I am not a graceful person. That was the joke my mom always said. I should have given you the middle name Grace. Because, yeah, I will trip over the lines in the sidewalk every time. But, um, so yeah, this has been fun because I just do the one page a month and I'm enjoying it. Next up, this is another of my 10 books to finish, Disney Love Stories. And I only did one page this month. Here we go. I did Mulan. And I'm blanking on his name, and I just watched it. Oh, I'm really bad. So this is the page I did. Definitely have a lot more to go in here. So, but I like it. I just use my water-based markers in there. Another 10 books to finish is my Mystery Mosaics book one. I did three, well, actually four, because one's a double-page spread. So, of course, for Wahoo with Kathy, I did the cat page, which turned out really cute. And I add um, washi tape. I've said this before, but if you're new, I do it because these pages are perforated and I don't want them to fall out of the book. 
Then for yummy, I did the hamburger. There is one of the volumes that has a taco in it, but I don't think I have it. Um, yeah, because I looked through and I don't have it. So that's okay. But once I keep finishing some of, more of these, I will get the ones I'm missing. They are really fun to do. And then just because I thought this looked like fun and celebratory type for birthday, I did the double page of the carousel horse and horses, I guess. Another fun one. This one, it was kind of nice because there were some white sections. So making progress. I'll probably, this will be one of the books I finish sooner just because it's only got 23 pages. So, and I've done quite a bit. I had three done. I had 20 to do. So I am making progress on that book. Next set, I'm going to show you our color by numbers. And I look at all these tabbies. I have been working in Valentine and Easter ceramic tiles by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. My friend um, Zombie Girl and I have been working. She was decided she wanted to finish this one, and I said I will gladly help her because I absolutely love this book. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have some water here, and if you hear me, just stop talking. I'm probably getting a drink of water. So I'm very proud to say she completed the book. I did not. I think I have four pages left. So let me show you what I did, and then I will show you her pages, the ones where we buddy colored. I think there was one I did that she had already done. So I'm going to try and go through these pretty quickly. All of these I colored alcohol marker, white gel accent, maybe some glitter gel pen. So this is one of the pages that I buddy colored with a zombie girl. Her pictures will be popping up on the left. Here is another page <coughs> we did together, the texting one. Of course, the bunny, because it is a love bunny, but it is it was Easter, so that was pretty fun. I it was funny because we both changed out a color. Which color did we change? Now I have to look. I think it was, so like, yeah, this eight around here. So the, see the color of the face is peach. This was all supposed to be, the first ring around there was supposed to be peach, as well as up here. And I decided, nope, I didn't want that much peach. I was going to go gray, and then I kind of went this light tan. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. And then the car we did together. Here you can see marker starting to die. That happened quite a bit. And there were a few, like the peach <laughs> was dying, um, that I had to switch them out a little bit. Here was the champagne page. Cute. They're all just so cute. I just, I'm in love with this series now. Um, this one is the one I did that she had already done. You can see I wrote on here, Buddy Color with Zombie, and then I crossed it out because I did this one on my own. And little lovebird mailing a letter. I think this was, I did this earlier in the month. And then the last one I did, which this one I did on my own. Oh, no, that's not the last one, but I did this one on my own, she had already done it, is the two cute little bunnies in the um, coffee cup or cup. I don't know what they are. And I think, is it just one more back here? And then, yes, this is the last page in the book. That was a buddy color, and it also applied to my Wahoo with Kathy for the arts. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Like I said, I think I have four pages left in here. I'm going to put this in my work book or work bag because these I've decided while I did before the like lines and dots type books at work, this works really well as well because it's such a limited color palette and these nice small little books can fit underneath my other paperwork and just when I need to like take a breath or have a minute, I can color on them. So the Easter ceramic tiles... I wanted to color in, um, had I not colored in this, I could have finished Valentine, but I did want to color some of the pages during the Easter season. 
because it is one of my favorite times of year. So I tried to find the ones that were very specific Easter. A lot of these pages could just be spring. So I did the Happy Easter. And this one I thought was so stinking cute, this little carrot guy. I'm not quite sure. At first when I was looking at this coloring it, I thought these were his arms and he was like doing woohoo YMCA thing. And then I'm like, no, he's got arms here. So I don't know what these are. Maybe he's a carrot ninja and like those are his like swords tucked into his backpack. I don't know what it is, but I, I was like, oh, he's like so excited. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> Here <coughs> is a, another page. I was having marker issues, so I had to adjust this where I did the red line, reddish orange line was actually supposed to be this blue color, but my blue was dying. So I made a coloring decision and swapped it out. And... Let's go to the back. I think I did several back here. So Easter egg hunt. This one was really a lot of fun because there's so much colors in the words. Here I think I was using, I think Sharpies and they were all dying. I don't know if it was Sharpies or something was dying. I made the most of it. A lot of this you can see. And then I used an actual silver instead of gray. You can see that metallic. And this sassy little duck. These must have been some water base too because I got the crinkle going on, which I love. Again, I used the silver. And the last page, which was the first one I did, I did this on my actual birthday, um, is the rainbow, the eggs, and the carrots all together. Very cute. So yeah, I have the Valentine and then the Easter, and those are the only two I have. I don't know if I'm going to go back and get the other two, because when I first saw those, I didn't get that excited. But then again, now that I have them, I get it. I get why this is super exciting. So I'm just going to kind of grab two books at a time. Next up, I colored in Cute Cats, color by number. This is a Dover book, Sharon Lane Holm. This is a super affordable one. I recommend it. And this is one I had not colored in yet. So thanks to some wonderful prompts that I wanted to hit, I did. So I did this cute little kitty, and I did these with um, your water-based super tips and the assorted styles. And I was pretty proud of myself to stay consistently that overall, even though it's streaky, it's consistently streaky. So this was a cat for Wahoo with Kathy, and it was also the A for aircraft, in Jamie's Coloring Love um, April Breakdown Prompts. Then I did this page. Super cute little kitty. And this little mouse and dog I think are in all of the pages. And I needed a prompt for a watering can for Jessie's Happy Scavenger April prompt. And again, of course, we have a cat for Kathy. And I think this was the last one. I think I did three in here. And I did them all on the same day. So, of course, I had to do the birthday cat. I changed up some colors just because of the markers I had. But, again, this is a, a very cute. And it is double-sided, so you need to use your water base or crayons. But if you are a cat lover, and it's like $3, I think, to buy. Um, I know you can get it on Amazon or the Dover website. So I did one page out of Mystery Mosaic Wild Cats by Belba family, family. family. I did this one. This is, his name is Victor. And I'm still not sure how I like to do these. I definitely know I like the look of the solid best. Do I have an example to show you? Um, so like here I did, I just like that look overall. These are the pretty small ones though. And like here I only did the X method, which I didn't like. I mean, it looks, it looks fine. And people that do the X method, I'm not throwing any shade on anyone. I'm just saying my personal preference is, um, I like the solid the best, or this is my alternate where I have the main image. But since it's a mystery, you don't always know. And I do apologize if you hear my cat hacking up a hairball in the background. I'm not sure which one it is, but hopefully 
they clear their throat. Okay. Um, so this one I didn't mind. It was a little easier because of the whites. And then when I was looking at the colors to figure out what was the cat and which was the background. So I had, that was last year's. Oops. We thought, uh, <laughs> D G R meant dark green instead of dark gray. So it was my, um, Scottish fold, uh, Irish cat that got green. So <laughs> mystery mosaics, Velva family. Then this book was a gift and I finally got to color in it. And this is another one, just like ceramic tiles. Now that I have one, I get it. I get all of you that are obsessed with these. This is the frosted cookies and cakes cross stitch. So I just started from the back because, um, as you will see, and other people have mentioned when you're coloring it, will with alcohol markers or sharpies it will here's solid black it didn't go through but it will um cover come through and it might mess up the key or not but <coughs> since i'm new to the the books i thought no let's just work from back to front so i did winter days and then here was a full page one wrapped with a bow i'm still conflicted because this is wrapped with a bow but to me, it looks like a cake on a pedestal. So is this a cake or a present, my friends? What do you see? And I do know it's glare because it's the um, premium paper. But here you can see what I mean where the colors got really the key once it um, soaked through. So whether it's a cake or a present, I think it's super cute and fun. And then this is the Playful Pinata. Oh, and I'm filming this on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty cute. And Sharpies, I found, worked the best, or that style marker, because you're just making an X. So thank you again to my dear friend that sent this to me. I am in love with this book. Okay. I did some work out of Stone Mosaic a Black Edition, which I see they have a... Um, mandala book out now that is um they have the cream and the black edition i have the black edition coming my way as soon as my husband places the order because it was my cash for coins book i needed to do a bicycle <laughs> for a prompt so i knew there was one in the stone mosaic and i found it in here so thankfully it was an easy enough image to figure out Okay, I think, I think I got stopped and started. That was my husband's fault calling me. Anyway, bicycle. You don't need the full story for every page, do you, my friends? And since I was in the book, let's do some more pages. So I did the beautiful butterflies. I really like the colors of this one. And I did the King Tutankhamen. He's a little scary. I probably didn't help with the gel pen I added, but... That is what it is. So I love these books. They color color up so quickly. And um, yeah, definitely a lot of fun. So now let's jump to, we're going to go through the Color Questopia portion of the um, completed pages. I've had this book and I finally colored it. This was uncolored. I did the Incredible Cats and Kittens. And... This is one of their older books, so it's kind of a simpler style, but I did this cute little kitty with his or her bowl, and I did the two little, these guys look like they're just trying to get into trouble, I added a little bit of white gel pen freckles, I guess. I was trying some of the eyes, I, I didn't like how I did that line across their eyes. And then I must have done a bonus page. Let me find out which one did I do. Oh, oh, here, just go to the tab. Go to the tab. I did this one, which I thought was so lovely. I needed, I don't know if these are roses or I needed a butterfly prompt, but this is really pretty. I like this one and I like having the white background. So three pages out of there. I worked in Chibi Girls Volume 2. I did this cutie patootie because I needed a dragon. <gasps> I was going to go back with my nail polish on the dragon's nail. So I'm going to have to do that, but I can't do it now. 
because then I have to close the book. But there you go. Um, pretty sure, yeah, I changed up. So the hair was all 23, which is pink, but I used different shades of pink so I could have um, just some variation. But she's cute. And then I did this one. This kind of made me go, hmm. So I'm like, it's this little angel fairy something. And it's stars are out and the sky is, was supposed to be light blue. But I'm like, the stars are out. So that should mean it's night. I don't know. Plus you can see a rainbow. <laughs> so I just did my own thing. I did a darker purpley blue and I put, speaking of nail polish, I put some nail polish on her wings. If you can see the glitter. Um, so that one's a fun one. And I did this page. I had a lot of fun. I needed a fashion page and I also needed roses and I went to town with my little white gel pen and used some metallic gold on her dress. I think I switched out some of the colors on here too, which I always say, even if it's color by number, you do you. You can change out the colors. It does. It's your book. Do what you want. And here we go. This one was a birthday gift. I have yet to show it on here, so it'll be in a haul. And uh, can you tell I love this book? The Kawaii Color by Number, Color Questopia. So let's just look at all the pages I did. So I did this cute little kind of chubby mermaid. She made me smile. And I used crayon on the background because that's a lot of blue. And again, markers are dying. So, and I kind of like how it I don't mind where the white comes through. I think it makes it look more like water. And I was so excited. I'm like, there's going to be a taco page in here. There were not any taco pages. Color Questopia. You did this fabulous food page with pizza and sodas and fries and a burger. Where's my taco? Anyway, this is cute. So here's the one little thing I have to say. I love the black background, but this is what I think is the difference. I like the black background when the pages are like this, where it's filled in square and just a black border and the lines are all filled in. I think that looks really nice. It's easy for coloring. The black backgrounds I'm not as thrilled with are this style where they just black out everything. So it's not a huge thing here, but you can, I don't know if you can see this or not, how there's like this shadow where if this was a white background one, I think this would have been black, but then they left the white outline. So you get this weird little line and some of the things do not come through. Like here on this pizza, the little, uh, steamy whatever smell squiggles so you could see them here because it was over the crust but there were three over here too that I put white gel pen on because I couldn't see so I think color questopia could really improve when they have this style of a page to do black background I almost wish they would just do like the black border and then leave what they filled in with black as white and either just leave it white or leave it to let us choose to color it, but then just have the lines filled in. I think, I don't know, does anybody else feel that way or is it just me being me? But this is the first one I've had since they've done black background where it wasn't like, you know, a framed image and just the lines were black. So you'll we'll see if there's a couple others that maybe show. Here's another one, same thing. There's like this almost shadowing of the lines but again it's a super cute one really like this page because it's a kitty having boba tea and i had to do this page because it had the bunnies on it so that is cute and here same thing like you lose the antenna on the butterfly because there just were nothing it was just like this antenna less um yeah and then here so these little purple things aren't just floating. They actually are supposed to have 
like a sprig, but that's all blacked out. And like the stem going to this flower, again, it got blacked out because they blacked everything. So anyway, maybe I'll message them. Um, just suggestions. Maybe I'm the only person that it annoys. Whatever. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to color this whole stinking book because it is adorable. And then I did this page um, for Yummy. And nothing better than ice cream. A little bit of glitter. Here you can see I had a marker issue. So this light blue died. So we just switched the colors. Switch the color blue. But thank you, my dear sweet friend who gave this to me. Um... I will be showing it when I get to my haul for the month. Okay, still got just a couple more color by numbers. Let's get this one out of the way because it's kind of giant. This I just have to show you this way because it is such a big book. Quirkles, Cats. I love this book. There's 20 pages in it. I have only done one page prior to this month. And I did one more. And this is the one where I was talking about those five below markers. So I did it all in grays because this cat reminded me of one of my fur babies who is no longer with us. And I had that set of markers that was six markers. I'm like, oh, easy to do my five gray, you know, gradients. But yeah, like the number four marker, the ones, the two lightest ones, I was working from top to bottom and they, they couldn't get, they couldn't make it. They gave up. So if you notice, I had to switch down here. So my four was originally this gray and then I had to switch and it kind of is a greener gray. And then the same with the five got to be, I don't know if you can even tell, where did I have to switch out my fives? Maybe I went over it enough. That one wasn't quite as drastic. Anyway, it's still a cute, cute page. Except she's kind of a grumpy cat, but that's okay. Um, Oh, since it's right here, this was the other page I had done in here. So, two pages done. That's fun because I like that book. Now I have some Disney pages to show you. So, this is a new-to-me book. I showed it to you in my haul. I will link that in up in the sky if you are interested in seeing what I bought from Lyrica. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know book is Lyrica. Not Lear, it's Liar, Liary, Liar, Liar, I think. Anyway, in French. So I I ordered a bunch of French coloring books and I got this one from Encanto. And this is um, color by number. And I did two pages in here. I did, I just figured I'm going to go probably from front to back. So I did Mirabelle. And I just used my water-based markers. I did add a washi tape on the bottom to kind of... Here, I gotta turn it around. There you go. Just to cover up the um, color key. It doesn't color it completely. You can see through it. But I just trying things. I got enough washi. I can try. And then I did the second page of Abuela. And again, I switched out my colors a little bit to use what I had, but I figured I got the skin tone and the hair good if my pinks are a little different on her dress, but there you go. So these are double-sided and they're all like one, I think it's just one character on a page. So, <coughs> excuse me, pretty simple coloring, but very relaxing and fun. And then I got into, this is was also in my haul, the Grand Classiques Tomb 9. And I think I did four pages in here, so I'm excited to show them to you. I This was the first page I did, so I did the um, Figaro from Pinocchio, and this is all, the whole thing is in acrylic paint pens. I have mentioned that before, I've been trying them out in these books, and for the most part I like them. The pens I have though, they I need to get like a thicker tip. Because but when you're doing backgrounds, it's a lot of work and it's kind of a mess. Or um, I'll sometimes use markers here. I was just doing it this way. And then because I decided if I'm doing one page in these books, I'm going to do the opposite page at the same time and teach them, or teach them, treat them as a double page spread. 
because these books have 100 pages in them. So I have, I don't know, five or six of the books now, which means that's a lot of pages to color. And it was so handy. So I absolutely loved, again, a canto. And Antonio here is adorable. This is actually a buddy color page here with the lovely Ren Kelly. We said to do any of our Disney books and to do a cat prompt for my walk with Kathy. So this is the page I colored. And then here is the page she colored, which I love hers. And it's so fun to see the difference. She does her um, Disney color by numbers with Prismacolor pencils and they look beautiful. So you can just kind of see the different effects you get. I'm not a pencil girl. I will say that the paint markers take a long time. I don't know if it's as long as pencils, but it's longer than using the markers. But I really, really like how he turned out. And I used a glitter paint marker. Do you see that on the little design in the back? So I think I did pretty good with my color matching. <clears throat> and what was nice, if you do these as a two-page spread, is a lot of my colors were similar enough that I just did the same color on both pages. So I know like this red, I need it over here a little bit. Same with this one. Obviously the blacks, the browns. Um, yeah. So it made a nice carryover. And I have been sticking in just a piece of tracing paper. I'm not sure if the paint will stick to itself. I'm more worried like when it gets humid out. Oh, so the person I've mentioned before and I'm going to link in her channel and I'm going to apologize to my dear, dear inspiration that I'm going to pronounce your name wrong. So I'm going to just show you this is the name of her channel and I'm not sure if this is her actual name. Um, Faral Shoho, Shoujo, I don't know what the pronunciation is, but she does... All of, she does quite a bit of the Hatchet Heroes um, color by numbers, the Disney and other versions. And she does all of hers in acrylic paint. And she doesn't cheat like me and use the acrylic paint pens. She mixes the colors and paints with a brush. And I'm going to have to message her and ask her <coughs> if she would ever consider doing like a uh, color with me or how I, how I color or how I paint these. Because I would love to see... Her actual process and granted it might take a long time to do a whole book but just to like do part of it I think would be so interesting but if you have not watched her at least go check out her um, completed pages videos uh, and you will see her amazing work so then it just happened I flipped the page and I'm like let's do these two so I did two more pages and they both were fitting so I had my cat prompt oh yeah so that was my cat's this, I figured it's a cat and it's yummy. Personally, I don't like fish, but cats do. So this worked for yummy. And then here we have the lovely Dorothea from the movie Soul. And I did a couple color changes, but she qualifies for the arts. And on the right side, since I was doing both sides, I got Mother Gothel from Tangled, and I figured she applied to my hair hair prompt. Oh, the one other thing you might notice that I'm trying out is I'm doing a black background. Or once the page is colored, I just use my black paint pen again and um, fill in. So here you can see the pages have like the page number, and there's like a border. And then the color key is down here on the bottom. So once I'm done, I'm blacking out that whole thing. And then I'm just writing the character and dating it. And I really like that. Again, not my idea. I've seen pictures posted on Instagram where I don't know how they're blacking out their edges. But I just really like that. It, I think it kind of frames it nicely and then covers up that um, key, color key. Just, you know, because there's a lot of testing and going on down there. So those are my four pages from Les Grand Classiques, Tomb 9. And now we will be getting to the non-color by number pages. So we're just about through because remember, I had mostly color by number. So hold on. So the first pages I have to show you are from my coloring 
planner, my Johanna Basford coloring planner, which is one of my 10 books to finish. And I think there were only three because I had done this page, which was technically April. I did this one in March, which again, my goal is to just finish this. So I try and stick with it. I have not put in my additions. Um, Season Friends, you know, I'll print out and put my um, buddy colors and like my prompts that I do, that kind of stuff. Um, in here, my bingo cards, scavenger hunts. So I haven't, I have them printed. I just haven't put them in yet. So I did this page and I've decided I'm just going to use water-based markers. I've tried pencils and I've done some gel pen and gel pen I would probably use as well, but I'm not going to mess with pencils. They make my hands hurt and I don't have the patience. So this is going to be the way I color Johanna Basford pages is with the marker. And I did this cute little, I don't know if he's a steampunk bee, he's got a saddle on. And I had a pretty limited color palette on this page and I kind of really like it. And talk about a limited color palette. This was one where it was like so much little bitty detail, you know, and I'm like, I just, no, I don't. And I think I did this on the 30th. It was like, I just wanted to get it done. So I thought, what can I do that will be quick? And, um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling to do all the details. Sometimes I do. The only little thing is there's this little tiny baby snail right there. So I did him in silver. And that is all. Then we're into May. So three pages, but I am keeping up in here, which makes me so happy. And I think it's because I am using it for my tracking, so I am reaching for it throughout the month, which reminds me to check and see if I need to color or not. So it's been working out pretty well. I did a bunch, you can see a lot of cat pages, a lot of cat pages, and be prepared next month there'll be a lot of cat pages because I'm doing um, cats again for May. So here is another Dover coloring book. This is the Dover Spark book. Um, cool Cats by Noelle Dolan. I think I did two pages in here. So I did this cutie. I needed to do some strawberries for a prompt. And I did everything and I did the cat last. And I'm not happy. I'm not super happy with my purple choice. I mean, I love purple, but with everything else, I just kind of think I should have done a different color. It's still, it's cute. It's done. You know. It is what it is. And then I did this page all in pastels. I did use um, my glaze, um, jelly roll glaze for some black accents and a little bit of sparkle. So I that's cute. I haven't colored in this book. And it, this is a really nice one because it's um, single sided. So markers, whatever, they work really well. This was another fun little um, book that I don't think I'd colored in before. Colorful Cats and Snacks. I need to double check. No, this was the first time I'd colored in this one. And this one came with a bunch of stickers. So I'm going to show you what I colored. I did this page. I was all excited because I thought it was tacos. And I'm like, oh, it's not tacos. It's a burrito. Because I was even trying to color this. I'm like, this is like the weirdest taco shell. And then I'm like, oh, it's supposed to be a burrito. Or a burrito. So, but it was just super cute. And kind of still fit my Wahoo with Kathy theme. Because it has cats. And then it came with these stickers. Like a lot of stickers. So, um... There you go. Lots of stickers. So I added a taco. I added a taco sticker so I could say it's a taco cat. <laughs> and did I think I know I did another one in here and I sacrificed a page. Oh, maybe I didn't. These were the ones I sacrificed because I use my alcohol markers. So um, and I'm OK with that if I um, don't. I wasn't really that excited about either of those pages. So I guess I only did that one. Well, it was two pages in there. Okay, this is my 
10 books to touch. This like just, I really like the feel of it. It's got like different texture and some, anyway. So this is Sacred Angels by Lydia Hess. This was a 10 books to touch. And huge thanks to my friend Sherry who offered to buddy color out of this book with me. So we did Guidance, which is the Archangel Gabriel. And here is my page on the right, and you can see Sherry's page on the left. And she finished hers first and sent me the page. And I looked at it, and then I, when I was coloring, I didn't look, I colored mine a couple days later. And um, sometimes I don't like seeing my buddy's page first, and other times I do, and then I purposefully try and be different. So here I didn't even realize that I made several of the same choices that she had done, but I don't mind. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I used um, stickles up here on the flower. I used nail polish on the ribbon, and then I used this glitterific or extreme glitter hologram on the wings. So added a bunch of sparkly goodness but yeah so excited that I got into this book certainly will try to color more I worked in my creative haven rose windows coloring book and I did three pages in here so my good friend Kathy the colorful colorist one of my original um OG coloring friends <laughs> when I started YouTube she doesn't have a channel. She's on Instagram, though, and she's amazing. So she is. She actually finished this book. And we had talked about doing the buddy color, and I said, well, hey, let's do Bro's Windows. So she had, I think, three pages left, and I had colored one of them. So I said, I'll do two with you, the two you haven't done. So I used the same color palette. I'm going to show you this first. This is one of those monthly prompts I always try to um, work in. This is a color palette that the beautiful iPad Colors comes up with, Rebecca. And um, I try to use her palettes at least once a month. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it. And I use the same palette for both of my pages. So here was the first page we did. Um, and you can see Kathy's page on the left. And then the next page, I used the same palette. But I think they look completely different. Here, let's do a quick flip. There's that, there's that. I mean, if you really look, you're like, oh, they're kind of the same colors, but the way that they, I use them, um, I think it looks different. I thought it was a lot of fun. And uh, Kathy, I love her page. Well, both of her pages were amazing, but I just thought this was a fun um, buddy color and I'm so proud of her for completing the book. And then I did one other page in here because I had the book out and these color up again super quickly. And I think this was the theme of markers I was trying to use up. <laughs> so there, yeah, these are so beautiful. I really wish they would come out. Um, Joel S. Avrin or Avrin did this book and please, please, not that you're watching, but come out with a volume two because this extremely dark grayscale, um, it's just so beautiful when they're colored. So, okay. Oh, enough about that. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. We have, okay, I'm going to grab three books. So this is, an, it was a new book that I had purchased, Cute and Hoppy. And I'm like, I have to color in this. It's Easter. I got one page colored. <laughs> and this is the page, which I did as a buddy color with Megan. She is Disney Meg's coloring on Instagram. And her page is so cute. She had um, messaged me about a buddy color, and I saw she had posted a page from here. I'm like, can we do something? cute and hoppy otherwise I might not get it colored so I really like orange and teal together but I don't know that if it's if I wanted a different orange I mean I don't hate my page but definitely was not what I was going through and maybe it was because I added in the other colors I don't know it's still super cute I used um distress oxides just to color in the background a bit with some ink but thank you Megan because this was the only page 
I got colored in here. I might keep it out and try and do some more, just the spring pages. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, you know, first time colored. And this was another book. I've had this over a year and had not colored in it. So I dug it out in March. I didn't get to it. So I colored in um, April. 50 Clover Mandalas. This is by Camellia Angel Cova. And... I colored, I think I just started from the front. So I did the Book Belongs to You page. And, yep. I'm not sure. I know um, Nikki over at Nikki and Niagara. Is this the one she's doing? Um, Camellia has two different clover type books or Irish type. And um, I know Nikki's working on finishing one of them. And what she's been doing is like she picks a green for every page and then she does just a random draw and I, I like that idea I may I may copy you which is a compliment so here is the books belong to page and I did one other page and this was a random and I happened to get a green so I just stuck my hand in the bucket of sharpies and these were the colors I got but happy to finally get that one colored I got quite a few done in 50 Easter miniatures, and I'm pretty sure they were all buddy colors. So that's always a good thing. Here is my first page. It's my first page to show you, and it's the last one that I colored for the month. So this is um, these cute little guys. It kind of went dark, as in like the colors went really dark which is a little different because I did a lot of pastels, I always think, with Easter, but I still love my little mice. And this is a buddy color with Michelle's box of hues. She has not sent me her page yet, so I can't show you it, but you can see mine. And I did um, metallic silver for the paint bucket, and I used a glaze pen to make the paint wet. Can you see it? Can you see it? Anyway. Super cute. I love, oh, and this is, you know, for Wahoo with Kathy because it's artsy. He even has this cute little beret on. Then this was such a fun page. I like went to town in so many ways. This was a buddy color with the lovely Amanda Downey. She is Downey Amanda on Instagram. And she came up with the idea to do this. Um, we wanted to do, or we had a prompt to do a split color. And neither of us had friends in the work nearby world we could sit down with and like sit across from each other and do a split color so we picked this page because i said well it'll split right in the middle perfectly and i picked the left side and she did the right side so i'm going to show you the picture she sent me with just her right side done amanda i forgot to check with you and ask you to send me <laughs> your completed page so that's on me and then here is the digital mashup of the two of our pages together, which I think is so cool. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice I tend to do that anyway when I post my buddy colors. The first picture is usually like half and half. So it was very fun. And I used a lot. I used alcohol markers. I used this purple, pink, and blue are all a glaze style pen. I used metallic on the little jars. These remind me of like the baby jars, baby food jars that um, my mom would use for paints in her classroom. And then I made this little, I just freehanded this little black outline around the bottom. And then I used um, my favorite Dollar Tree nail polish. I think I did buy a backup of this because it works so well in the coloring books and made this kind of like, you know, sparkly like their paint drop cloth so there's that one then come on even when I tab these I have a hard time finding them this was another fun one I did two buddy colors out of here with Shelby from Shelby's coloring and we did this one which I had obviously a lot of fun I made a blueberry pie I love doing this dark blue and the enamel I tried to make it enamel looking like the camping style cookeries um, again I don't need to explain everything you guys probably already know I use like jelly roll moonlight to outline and some glitter gel pen a little bit of washi on top and bottom 
So yeah, I like it. Shelby, her page is over here. You can see it's super cute. Um, yeah. So that was fun. And we did this one as well. Again, I was looking for more of the, I mean, this whole book is Easter, but pages that said Easter. So we did the little lamb with the chick on his back carrying the eggs. And I really, yeah, I thought it was fun. I liked, this was the first of Camille's lambs I'd colored, but Shelby, your page is adorable as well. So that was fun. And then I did, where is it? This was the first one I colored of the month and I tried something new. So this <coughs> cute little basket house with Easter eggs is a um, buddy color with Michaela. She is Michaela Colors and Creates. And of course, if I had an Easter basket, it's going to be purple because I love purple. And I decided to try, since these eggs were nice and large, I used washi tape to color them. And I decided, so this, you can see where I didn't try and line up the pattern, and I don't know if it even would have lined up. So that's a little more the eye notices it, but these two I thought I did a pretty good job, and it's because of the washi tape. Um, the dots was fine, because they didn't carry over off the edges of the um, tape and then I made sure I lined up the um, lines so I thought that was pretty fun and I thought okay I, I went totally opposite because I thought well you can create whatever beautiful basket um, design color coordinating you want but the Easter Bunny is going to put in whatever the Easter Bunny wants so the Easter Bunny gave me primary colored eggs in my purple basket and I don't mind because if they're filled with, I don't know, coins, chocolate, anything, I love it. But here's Michaela's page. Hers is also super cute, adorable. I always enjoy buddy coloring with her and with all my friends. So that was that book, 50 Easter Miniatures. I think I just have two, two books left, my friends. Can you, can you hang on? We're almost there. So this is already feeling, it's not like super chunky, but it's one of those I'm like, oh, it's feeling like it's loved. So here is the Floating 3D Mandala's Adult Coloring Book Volume 2 by Tabitha Barnett. This is a project book with um, a Tammy Colors 2 out here on YouTube. We are coloring this whole book this year. So April, it was my chance or my turn to pick the prompts for the pages. We do five pages a month and we just rotate coming up with how we're going to color them. It's kind of fun. We could have certainly just like do whatever you want and then compare, but we give each other either like a color palette or a prompt or a suggestion. And I've really been enjoying that. It's been keeping me on my creative toes and she is so amazing and talented. And yeah, so here we go. I have been trying to do one of the mandalas each month as like the monthly theme. And whew, this still smells bad. <laughs> it still smells like covered in paint. So here you'll see I wrote April chapter four. And then I put like the birthstone, the birth flowers, the um, astrological signs, any other little like I put April Fool's Day and Earth Day. I just write that stuff in here and it's kind of like, oh, just to remember, I don't know, because it's going to break down. We're doing this all year. I'll have 12 chapters in my book. So for this prompt, um, I just told her shine bright like a diamond was the prompt. So however you want to interpret that. And um, I hope you can see mine is shining to beat the band what my story behind mine before I show you Tammy's page is um, diamonds I mean typically are clear but they do have them in every color so I picked the blue because I just figure well clear kind of leans ice blue and blue is my mom's favorite color 
And then have you guys seen, they have, and this is probably just a marketing thing, but they have what's called the Coco Diamond. And it is a brown diamond, and it is the diamond my husband has promised he is going to buy me someday. Because, little backstory, new friends, if you're still hanging out this long, there's always a story when it comes to me. And um, Coco is like one of my pet names for him. It's actually Coco Bear. But anyway, a lot of times it just gets called Coco or Coke. So when we saw the Coco Diamond, it was like, Oh yeah, I need to get you one of those. He hasn't yet. And I'm always like, yeah, no, we have other things to, we need new windows for the house. We need, you know, a lot of other things done. So let's not worry about that Coco Diamond yet. So that is why I picked these color choices. And then I painted the whole thing because I just colored with alcohol marker with the Extreme Glitter Hologram. And it does still smell. And I almost made a huge mistake and started coloring these browns with water-based markers. I was going to use the Crayola Colors of the World. And then I got like two lines in and I'm like, oh, crap, when I paint over that, it's gonna bleed them to no, to no end. So switched out to alcohol markers, but okay. So that's my shine like bright like a diamond story. And here is Tammy's, put on your sunglasses. She made it sparkly beautilicious. So, amazing. Amazing. She does such great work. So, here you go. <laughs> Cover this up. This color palette, you're going to be like, seriously? What the heck is this? Let me show you the markers I picked. I sent her a picture. And I'll just put the picture in the screen in case you can't see this. This is a... I can't count the candles. I think it might be seven-year-old Kathy. I am missing some teeth though. I thought I was younger here. So I sent her this picture because again, it was my birthday month. And I said, pick whatever you want from this page for your inspiration. So you can see my page and I will show you what I picked out. And let me show you Tammy's page. And we kind of leaned a little bit similar. It's reminded me of 70s, which is when I was born. And I wrote down here, I picked out... <coughs> um eight markers. So this kind of became, um, occasionally we'll just do an eight marker random challenge and where you just draw eight and then you can edit if you need to. So this was kind of a twist on that, Tammy. I didn't tell you that because I picked two colors from the wall and the door, which were the browns. And I picked two colors from the curtains, which is this lovely green and orange, I think. <laughs> And then I picked two colors from the shirt, which is the blue and the yellow. And then from the cake, I picked two colors, which was the pink and the purple. So that's the story behind my page of the Kathy birthday cake inspiration. And an alcohol marker, a little bit of gel pen, white gel pen, and some glitter. This page, okay, if you know, you know. <laughs> So when I saw this page uncolored, I should have taken a picture of that, instantly gave me Encanto vibes because it looked like the tile work um, in like their house in the middle section. I can't think of what you would call that, the garden, the whatever, um, the veranda. I swear there is like this circular in the original house and how the floor like moves them around. It just... I saw that and that's what it made me think of. So, of course, that is what I picked. I found an Encanto color palette. There were actually a couple out there because there are some paint companies, hence Crown. I'm showing you the um, palette right now that have come up with them. And Tammy's, again, even when we use color palettes, some things are similar and some things are different. And that's what I kind of like about doing the color palettes. Love your page, Tammy. I love all your pages. And I just stuck this up here. Um, I was trying to like think where I could put these. And I hadn't done this earlier. I should have, you know, like when we had like a palette or something, I wish I had kept them. But I didn't because I'm actually like the queen of clean out my phone and delete stuff. But anyway, that was this page was on our Encanto color palette. Here is one. And we, I don't know, are we kind of alike? 
So my page is on the right, Tammy's is on the left. This one, I sent her this picture. I'm showing it to you as inspiration because April showers, and when I first looked at this uncolored, these looked like water droplets to me around the edge. So that's what I went with. And then I was looking and I thought, oh, let's, cause there's even this water droplet. These are all cookies, by the way, in the um, photo inspiration. <coughs> And I didn't, I mean, you could pick colors from here. I didn't, when I sent like the photo, I'm like, whatever it does for you. If it just makes you think of April showers and you want to do all blues or something, it's whatever you want. But I was trying to do, you know, I added a lot of the little polka dots kind of to match what they had done. And yeah, I, I like our page. And the last page, I did send a photo, another photo inspiration which, if you notice, this is the same. These are both the same mandala, but this one has the extra drops, which is why I thought of water. And so, like, here's your April showers, and they're going to bring us May flowers this page. So, my page is on the right, Tammy's is on the left, and this is the picture I provided inspiration, which was these tulips. And I went total pastels. I used my Ohuhu pastels um, and matched, did I do five? Yeah, I, I um, matched out five colors that I wanted to use. And that's what I did. So there you go. Chapter four done in the books. And I'm excited because Tammy has given me the assignments for May. And I am, I'm excited to work on them and I'm going to work on them sooner because I'm the queen of like on the last day of the month, like I'm trying to get these done. Okay. I have one page left and this is probably my favorite page of the month for non-color by number. This is Whimsy Girl Celebrate the Holidays. This was a book I tried to finish last year, didn't get it done. So I am working on it this year. Um... So this is by Hannah Lynn, and I did the Comic-Con page, and this is a buddy color with my lovely friend Johanna, Jojo Zahana, and um, wait till I, well, I'm going to tell you the prompt first, show you her page, and then I'll tell you my story, okay? We're going to end with story time. So this is my page of the Comic-Con. I've never been to a Comic-Con. I know what they're like. I think I've watched some reality TV shows. Anyway, and then I'm going to show you Johanna's page. Let's see if I can get them both on here on the screen. And do you have any idea what our inspiration was? <laughs> I'm very curious. Um, if you want to like pause the video right now and comment down below what you think it is, that would be funny. So, Johanna is always so sweet to try and help me with my prompts. She knows I do like these prompts every month. And she knows I like to do Hannah Lynn pages. So she had asked me, um, we did rainbow last month as a page. And then this, she's like, well, what are you doing for April? So I gave her my Wahoo with Kathy and told them. Now you would think that I'm like, oh, Hannah Lynn, obviously we're going to do hair. No, we didn't. She, and this is why I love Johanna, because we have the same not the same because no people are identically the same, but we have similar senses of humor and just love for fun. She said, oh, let's do tacos. I'm sure I can come up with something with a taco color palette. And as you see, she did. She is amazing and creative and she always makes me smile. Yeah. Thank you, Johanna. So, here, I'm going to slide my page back in and I'm going to introduce you to Princess Guacamole and the Gordita Goddess. <laughs> Do you see it now? So I'll, I'll we're going to go in. I'm going to tell you all the things you want to know. So I was thinking of one of my best friends who I've done another page, not in here, in uh, Jade Summer book. And, uh, we're actually, I'm going to spend all next week with her crafting. She is very much loud, loves attention over the top, 
you know, all the sparkle, all the things. And I am, believe it or not, much more reserved and quiet. So I'm like, well, she would definitely be the part of the taco that is, you know, all the pretty trimmings up on top. Um, so she is the guacamole and lime inspiration. And I suppose lettuce. <laughs> And she's the sparkle. Yeah, she wants you to see her. So yeah, I did avocado bodice and I had some green marker issues, but we made it work. And then I covered it up again with, this is like my go-to right now, to add the sparkle. Um, yeah, and then her hair was inspired by cheddar cheese. So yes, um, my Wisconsin friends, this, this is a cheese head live in person with a tiara. And did my glitter eyes. And I was going to flip. Usually I'll like flip the eyes. And I'm like, nope, we're going to color coordinate. If she's a guacamole princess, she needs all green. So this is me over here. <laughs> okay, this is me in a body that is never going to be me. And I'm like, okay, you're the sturdy base. So my colors are, I'm pretty much a flour tortilla in real life anyway. Because I'm a white, white girl. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we're going to do, so I was like, or it could be, you know, if I was a chicken taco, it's chicken colored flesh. And I got my beefy <laughs> colored little suit. And then I was trying to like, oh, but you know, there's corn, uh, corn taco shells too. So I was just, you know, th that was my thought process, figuring out the colors on my outfit. And then I'm like, what am I going to do? I didn't want to do, my hair is normally brown. I'm like, well, I don't want to put brown hair on a brown outfit. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to be the red onion. Because <laughs> that's another part. You know, we add something to the taco, but we're not the star. And if it's not there, it's like, what's missing? So I have red onion hair. <laughs> and my favorite part of the taco, um, which... Is kind of funny because my husband hates it. Is I always have to have a little sour cream on top. So that's my little sour cream, whatever this thing was stuck in my hair. And you may notice I had another blue marker issue where I started with this color blue and it was dying fast and furious. So I just switched it. I'm like, well, you know, it's like they're two different sides. Um, I'm kind of more in the shadow and she's got the light shining on her. So that's my story about this page. There you go. <laughs> Pray to God Hannah Lynn never watches or sees any of my stories behind what I've colored. Because, yeah, you guys know I'm something, aren't I? I am something. Okay, that's it. We did it. I made it through all my pages, all 83. Did you make it? Did you make it to the end, my dear friends? I hope you did. <laughs> I hope I helped brighten your day just a little bit. I hope I made you smile. Um, <laughs> I wish I had the camera up because my cat, who has a bit of a weight problem, just jumped up on, we have, you know, those like glider. I'm sitting in one, you know, the glider, and then they have the little ottomans that glide too. So we have an extra one and that's his favorite bed. So he went to jump on top of just the footstool glider thing and he knocked it over because gravity, when you're a round little pudgy buddy, that's what happened. So I just was laughing at my poor cat. It's not the first time he's done it. He also will now want to go sit on the back of the recliner and it will like all the way recline because of how heavy he is. Yeah, he's over 20 pounds. He's a cat. That's not a normal weight. Anyway, <laughs> again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by, partaking in the crazy, spicy, whatever we got going on here. I appreciate it. I am pumped. If you watch my plans video, you know next week I will be on a week-long vacation. I am going to try and film to put together some type of video, vlog, um, coloring updates. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, it's not, yeah, it's just going to be. I'm not even going to try and guess, but it will be fun. And I will share part of that experience with all of my friends out here because until we can time travel or I don't know what we could do where we could actually all get together and have a coloring 
convention? I don't know what the right word is. Gathering? Wouldn't that be awesome? Someday it's going to work. Or there, we're all going to be able to like be on a live video call. I don't know. But until then, I will definitely try and film and share it with you. So I'm going to head out of here. Actually, I'm going to try and film one more video before my husband gets home. And yeah, I just want to say thanks. Thanks again for stopping. I, you guys, you don't know how much I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for all the love and, um, I've needed it and I do, I am promising and I keep saying, but I am going to, if nothing else, while I'm on my vacation, I'm going to bring my camera and my, um, tripod and do a color and chat and just fill y'all in on what's going on. Cause May's not turning out much better and darn it, the door just opened. So there goes what I was going to film. But anyway, friends, I love you. I appreciate you. Don't ever forget, as I say, the most important thing, if you've heard anything or seen anything that I have shared with you today, the thing I want to walk, want you to walk away with and remember is you matter. You're beautiful. You bring so much color to this world. You bring it to my, my world. And um, I'm not just saying that. I truly mean it. I can't tell you how many times during the day, especially when I'm having a tough time that I think of the people and the friendships that I've met through coloring and just that there's even people that want to sit and listen to me and maybe we've never chatted, you've never commented or messaged me or anything. Um, you know, I see that there's views or there's thumbs ups and, and those make my day. So thank you. I am blessed to have you in my life and you are a blessing so many people. Bye, friends.